What's up, Wayne Brown? Here with DarkFix.net, and we are still inside of Windows 10, and this is lesson number seven. What we're going to do here is going to be a little more lengthy than my previous lessons. What we're going to do is that we're going to install Internet Information Services, otherwise known as IIS, also known as Web Hosting Software or Web Hosting Server. So that's what we're going to be doing now, so let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to come over here to our Start menu going to come over to control panel click it and then choose programs and features once programs and features opens up we're going to click on turn the windows features on or off you will need the windows 10 uh, cd or in my case usb drive in order to install the is or any other component that is in the turn windows features on and off section so we're going to come down here to Internet Information Services. Go ahead and click down on the drop down and then once again here. And then what we want to do is that we want to go through and check all the items that we want to use. So I'm using ASP and then ASP.NET, ASP.NET. That's the options that I use. So what you would do is that you would choose whatever you want to use. So if you're using CGI, then you would check it. So now let's come up and we've got that one done. Uh, let's see if we need anything else. Um, nothing here. If there's anything that you need, you can just check it. Custom login, enable support for custom login for web server sites and applications. That might be very interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. I've never seen that as an option before. Let's choose uh, performance features, dynamic content compression, uh, compress dynamic content before returning it to the client. Uh, compress static content before returning it to the client. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to check in on this uh, performance features. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose both of these and then we're going to test them out and see exactly how they work in a an actual real life environment. Uh, security uh, request filtering URL authorization authorized client access to the URLs that comprise a web application. And the request filtering was automatically checked, configure rules to block selected client requests. And so, but anyway, you just go through each one of these and choose which one that you want to select for your security. So now let's come up here. If you want to choose FTP server, then you can choose that. I'm not. Uh, web management tools, you can choose one of these if you need them. Uh, I don't, so I'm not going to choose either one of them. Uh, the ISS management console, we want that and the ISS management scripts and tools, we want that, and the management service. So that's all the options that we want. Once again, make sure that you have your USB or CD of Windows 2003 before you hit the OK button, because it is going to be needed in order to install IIS. So let's go ahead and click OK, and we'll see you at the end. Okay, and we are done with that. So we're going to choose don't restart because we don't want to restart now. So we're going to choose do not restart and then we're going to close out. All right, well, we've already uh, rebooted our computer after installing IIS and all of its tools and utilities. And so now what we're going to do is that we're going to come over into IIS. And we've already got it open right here. And how you access IIS Let's come over, choose all programs, come all the way down to Administrator Tools, and then IIS. Right click on it and choose to pin to your start menu, which I've already, and it'll pin it over here, but I've got mine sitting right here and I deleted it from this area. So you'll be faced with this screen right here once you open up IIS. You get the application pool right here and if you're going to be running native asp classic websites like i do then you're going to want to come in here and create uh work with your classic asp app pool and um and what this will do is that certain applications will not run if you do not have it set with asp classic and uh so how you set it with asp classic is that you right click on your default website come down to manage and go to advanced settings default app pool and you click down on the drop down and then you come down and you choose classic asp app pool and then you click ok and then ok again and this right here will allow you to run a lot of the asp classic sites that you're used to running in previous versions of iis 
Okay, when we come over and we run our page, we get this error right here. So let's go ahead and reload it. It gives us this error. An error occurred on the server when processing the URL. Please contact the system administrator. If you are the system administrator, please click here to find out more about this error. But it's not giving you an error. It's not giving you an error number. Well, how you access that error number that you choose your default website and this is any website. So if you create a brand new website, not a virtual website, but a brand new website, then you have to do this to each and every one of them that you're running ASP Classic on. But you come over here and you double click on your ASP file, come down here to debugging properties, and then right here where it says send errors to browser, you wanna change that to true. Once you change that to true, you click apply over here, and then we right click, and reload the page and now we can see that we have our error now the provider cannot be found it may not be properly installed you can click on the link right here to actually see how to fix this error but that is how you uh, get uh, IIS started within um, uh, Windows 10 and uh, to actually see this page running we got uh, one right here and hello world and that's just simply a file with a response dot right hello world sitting inside of it and that is how you run or install IIS into your your uh, windows 10 environment and uh, set up to run asp classic websites okay wayne baron here with darkspace.net instead of windows 10 with IIS installation and i believe this is IIS 9 as windows 8 had IIS 8.5 so, all right, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.